Hey, beautiful people of the living God, all praises to the Most High. So, um, this video is about the land of Babylon, America, which the king of Babylon rules, and the great city Babylon, Babylon the Great, Mystery Babylon, where the queen of Babylon rules, the United Kingdom. So in the Bible, you have to be careful when you read the land of Babylon and the great city Babylon, Babylon the Great. So the city Babylon and the land of Babylon are two different places, okay? So I'm going to show this to you because this is before I can make show you the video about the daughter of Babylon. God wants me to explain to you when you read your Bible, people are just reading. When they see Babylon, they're just putting it all together and it's not like that. The land of Babylon is different from the great city Babylon, Babylon the Great, Mr. Babylon. Okay, so we're going to approve this now. In Revelations 18 and 10, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, seeing alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, in one hour is thy judgment come. This is for the queen of Babylon, the daughter of Babylon. That's why it says her torment the great city Babylon, right? Now, Revelations 18 and 21, and a mighty angel took up a stone like a great milestone and cast it into the sea, saying, thus will violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Now, Revelation 16 and 19, and the great city was divided into three parts and the cities of the nations fell and great Babylon came into remembrance before God. Now this is great Babylon, Babylon the great, before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Revelations 14 and 8. And another angel saying Babylon is fallen, is fallen. And that great city, because she made all the nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Now let's say the la this is the bloody city this is talking about the city of babylon we're going to go to the land of babylon where the king is being punished for the land of babylon but the queen is the group babylon the great city nahum three and one and that whole chapter talks about her um but i have to explain the difference between the land of babylon and babylon the great city before i can make the video about the daughter of babylon or you're not going to understand the judgments because people are putting it when they're seeing babylon they're just saying america america but there's two land and city are two different places all right there's thrones there's dominions there's kingdoms there's cities there's lands read your bible well pray and fast and ask God. So Babylon, the great city, this is talking about Babylon, the great city in the home three and one. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departs not. Ezekiel 24 and nine. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, woe to the bloody city. I will even make the pile for, for fire great. Now, Ezekiel 7 and 23, make a chain for the lat. No, the, sorry, this is not it. It's Ezekiel 24 and 6. This is talking about that land. Wherefore, thus says the Lord God, Woe to the bloody city, to the pot whose scum is therein, and whose scum is not gone out of it. Bring out piece by piece, let no lot fall upon it. This is Babylon, the great city. Okay? Revelation 17 and 5. And upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery Babylon, the great Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Now, Babylon the land. S Jeremiah 50 and 18. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land as I have punished the king of Assyria. Jeremiah 51 and 44. And I will punish Bel in Babylon. When it's talking Babylon, that is talking America. When it's saying the land of Babylon, or when it's just saying Babylon, when it's saying Babylon, the great city, Babylon, the great, woe to the bloody city, that's talking about the United Kingdom. And I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he has swallowed up, and the nations shall not flow together unto any more unto him. Yeah, the wall of Babylon shall fall. Didn't they build a wall in America? The wall of Babylon shall fall. This is the king of Babylon's judgment. So 
the queen of Babylon, the king of Babylon. There's two different judgments, two different places. All right. That's why it says the great city and the land. God wants you to understand this. Jeremiah 25 and 12. And it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation, says the Lord, for their iniquity and the land of the Chaldeans and will make it perpetual desolations. This is the land of Babylon. Now, land of Babylon, Jeremiah 51 and 29, and the land shall tremble in sorrow. This is the land of Babylon, where the king of Babylon, America, for every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon and to make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. So you see that the land of Babylon and the great city Babylon is two different places. That's why it says, and great Babylon came in remembrance before God. That's why it's called Great Britain. Great Britain, the two richest countries, America and Britain. Great Britain, Great Babylon. That's why, and um, Great Babylon came in remembrance before God to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Saying, Babylon is fallen, Bob is fallen, that great city. Because she has made all the nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Now back to the land of Babylon. And the land shall tremble and sorrow for every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon. To make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. That's the land of Babylon. Alright. The land. This is it. It's Jeremiah 51 and 54. A sound of a cry comes from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans. All right? The land of Babylon and Babylon, the great city. So when it says do unto her, that's talking about the judgments to the queen of Babylon. When it's saying do unto the king of Babylon, that's talking to the judgments to the king of Babylon. Now this is Jeremiah 51 and 60 is talking about the land of Babylon and Jeremiah 25 and 11. Now, so Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that should come upon Babylon, even all the words that are written against Babylon, the land. Jeremiah 25 and 11. And this whole land shall be a desolation and an astonishment. And these nations shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. Remember, God comes back for the Israelites and the children of Judah after 70 years of their captivity in the land of Babylon. Do, do you see the difference? Jeremiah 50 and 34. Their Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause, his children, children of Israel and children of Judah, that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon, the people in the land of Babylon. Jeremiah 50 and 18. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land as I have punished the king of Assyria. Jeremiah 50 and 1. The word of the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Jeremiah 50 and 28. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon, out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God, the vengeance of his temple. So do you, do you understand? Babylon the great city is different. Standing afar off. For the fear of her torment, this is the daughter of Babylon, saying, Alas, alas, the great city, Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Jerem uh, Revelations 18 and 21. Thus with the violence shall the great city, Babylon, be thrown down, and shall not be found no more. And the great city was divided in three parts. The, gr the gr Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all the nations to drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Mystery Babylon, Horlet, same woman. All right, so before I can read the daughter of Babylon, you have to understand when you're reading the land of Babylon and Babylon, the great city, great, great Britain, woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departs not. Woe to the bloody city. I will even make the pile for for fire great. So when I read the judgments of the daughter of Babylon, you're going to see how everything goes together. All right. You guys have a blessed day.